All right, Shalom. This is the brother Kaya from Jim. That's New Orleans coming back at you with another quick ride and talk. Prior to getting started, as I always do, I like to give infinite honors and prayers to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakahakwadash, and double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and salutation to the Akim that's pushing the truth and sincerity. And Lord willing, this video will be edifying first and foremost to the whole filet and to those that cleave to the body. I have an article queued up here that says Biden, Biden compares Putin to Hitler as he makes the case for continued aid to Ukraine and SOTU address, all right? So President Joe Biden devoted special attention to Ukraine in his third annual State of the Union address, but it was his comments about Russian dictator Vladimir Putin that had people talking. Now, I would have you know, all right, Biden himself is an Edomite. Vladimir Putin is an Edomite. All right, so when the devil speaking uh, of this man, he's speaking of himself, right? He's speaking of himself. Now, you have to understand with political theater that the whole goal is to make you think is uh, make you to think and understand that there's a rift, all right, between countries, in order to enable this world war and feud it. All right, they have to be a, a boogeyman. They have to be opposing sides. It's called control opposition. Okay. Now, to compare somebody to the likes of Hitler, Hitler is famous for what? All right, exterminating. You know, the Jews. You know, doing that which was unseemly to the people. Okay, so this is a bold claim. Okay, when Satan making a uh, an attempt to. Uh, demonize Satan himself you see because both of these people work for the wicked elites okay and they're under one one regime so for the most part when you hear these uh, derogatory offenses or remarks coming from one president to another all right it's all it's, it's all uh, political theater you see let me read a little bit more. Calling a spade a spade. There you go. All right. Let me see if I can get that real quick. This is John 8 and 44. Year of your father, the devil, and the lust of your and the lust of your father, you would do. Now this is talking about Israelites, all right, taking up okay, the, the, the heathen customs and having uh the wicked that rule over them to be likened unto him. He was a murderer from the beginning and a bull not in the truth. See, this man, when when the wicked speak it, he's speaking a lie. I'm gonna get that. And because there is no truth in him, when he speak it a lie. He's speaking of his own, you see? He is a liar and the father of it. So when he's speaking the lie, all right, he's speaking of his own, okay? So you got a, 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 a mysterious way, well, the wicked got a mysterious way of calling the wicked out, okay, when, with the same um, agenda in mind. It says, Biden drew, parallels between Russia's war on Ukraine in the early 1940 when Germany Adolf Hitler was contempt, attempting to conquer e uh, Europe all right by means of so-called gas chambers all right because when you read into that the way that he was uh executing these people all right is you know it's some it's some uh default in that okay but when you really look into that and you go and really study the section in which this was happening, okay, this, some of these things wasn't happening, okay? It says, another, and it was another uh, attempt for, for, for control, okay, overall. It says, Biden began his hour-long speech with a historical comparison 
invoking Franklin Roosevelt address to the nation in January 1941 as Hitler aggressions in Europe. Okay, so what he's trying to say is Vladimir Putin is taking the same uh, approach as Hitler took to do to the uh, U.S. Uh, citizens, okay, or the overthrow of America, okay, in the likes of which uh, Hitler was attempting to take over Europe, okay. And in January 1941, President Franklin Roosevelt came to the chamber to speak. He said, I address you at this moment. I'm president in the history of the Union. Hitler was on march. War was raging in Europe. So, okay, these same things was done and war was raging in Europe. So, these wars that's going on, these inner wars, these proxy wars, okay, concerning Ukraine and these different things, all right, they, uh, and that's and, and this that's a uh, propaganda okay so because this long fort wall why haven't Russia overtaken them all right completely you see they give you green screens of things happening uh places blowing up and it, and it, and it look it looks set up all right not to say it ain't going on but there's always an agenda behind something man because Russia could have completely overtook Ukraine, all right, according to the power they have, all right, with their with they technology and, you know, they uh, Russia the strongest in the world, man. You know, Ukraine is getting aid, quote unquote, from America. It's just, it's just a debacle going on now, right? So when you do look into that, don't believe everything you hear and see, okay? It says... President Roosevelt's purpose was to wake up the Congress and alert the American people that this was no ordinary moment. Biden continued, freedom and democracy were under assault in the world. Man, well, democracy have uh, sanctioned, put sanctions on people everywhere. How is freedom and democracy under assault? When y'all have used this to assault people, uh, resources, uh, uh, a way of life, okay? Their way of living, their livelihoods. Okay, you have you have do did that to spoil and ruin the earth, man. Pillaging nations, okay, under your democracy. Get in line with GMO, whatever, whatever you you guys are sanctioning. And you guys is the US, the United States of America, alright? And those that control it. Tonight I come to the same chamber to address the nation. Not as we who face an unprecedented moment. Now it is we. Man, is you goddamn devils creating everything. They put everybody into it. Okay? And yes, my purpose tonight is both wake up this Congress and alert the American people that there is no ordinary moment here because y'all have created the chaos, man. All right? There's no such thing as the lies these people put out. All right? It's unprecedented lies, okay, and deceit. But overall, nonetheless, it's activity which is going to cause war. It's going to cause these rumors, all right? That shall be a rumor, and a rumor shall be heard. And that should be rumors of rumors, all right? These men, the wicked got rumors of rumors. <laughs> Not since President Lincoln in the Civil War has have freedom and democracy been under assault, here at home, here at home, as there are today. Good. What makes our moment rare and freedom and democracy are under attack, both at home and overseas at the very same time? Overseas first, uh, America don't keep it at home, okay? You all in other people's lands. Ukraine was a part of uh, Russia, man. You see that? Why is y'all in Ukraine? Because y'all have business there as well okay the better position yourselves for world war come on we know what's up you want to place your silos right there on that border man to fight russia because you know russia is the greatest threat to america man but y'all gonna have many problems because the allies of uh, of uh of russia bricks and you know these different nations that been joined uh, to russia man y'all gonna have issues your own, your own uh, allies gonna turn against you, America. 
It says, Overseas Putin of Russia is on the march invading Ukraine and sowing chaos throughout Europe and beyond. If anybody in this room thinks Putin will stop at Ukraine, I assure you, he will not. Yeah, according to um, Ezekiel the third eight chapter, he will not. Okay? And, he, and he's going to be the culprit of destroying America, man. Along with the, the neighboring allies and Tom China, Iran, and you know, the, those that he have been a god until, according to biblical prophecy. But Ukraine can stop Putin if we stand with Ukraine and provide the weapons it needs to defend itself, really. That is all Ukraine is saying, asking. They are not asking for American soldiers. Well, America going to have to dibble and dabble in that because Ukraine is getting dominated, quote unquote. In fact, there are no American soldiers at the war in Ukraine. This is ridiculous. Y'all say y'all been sending soldiers in different articles, man. But that's neither here nor there. And I am determined to keep it that way. But now assistance for Ukraine is being blocked by those who want us to walk away from our leadership in the world. Yeah, y'all got no business in Ukraine, all right? And that's pretty much it, man, okay? Biden compares Putin to Hitler. <laughs> when this nigga is Hitler 2.0, all right? This the same people. So when the devil's speaking, he's speaking of a lie or he's speaking of himself. So I don't want to write this out. Was that a fine? Back to the next time I see Shalom.